Hello gamers, geese and gays, welcome back to Firewatch. Last time, we got ourselves in a bit of a predicament. I didn't realise that the only way we're going to get back to the lookout tower is to go back to the lake that I've just spent however long running away from, go up through the canyon, through a cave, and then back to the lookout. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, the cool thing is here, you can see there's like little add-on um, keys that we're adding onto this. So you can see like, you know, where old equipment is and whatnot. I'm really impressed by this game. And I know not everyone is. Um, I've actually ran into a few people saying that this game's a waste of time. Fair enough. You're, you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, I feel like this game is very targeted towards a certain kind of person, towards a certain kind of gamer, towards people. It, I think the people who play this are the same people that would enjoy games like Death Stranding. Games that aren't tr traditional. Um, yeah, the gameplay mechanics are maybe a little bit... Not janky. A little simpler. You know, it, it is a walking simulator, essentially. But the story is fantastic. The feelings are amazing. This game is about experiencing it, as opposed to playing it. And because of that, I love it. I love anything that's a bit like this. Like, just... Oh. Right, let's see if we can find our way through. I, I That song is giving me Kate Bush vibes, and I know it's not actually Kate Bush. But the time period, I feel like that's kind of what it's trying to evoke. <laughs> I might be wrong. It might be an actual song. If it, if it is an actual song, let me know. I could just be an idiot. I have been known to be an idiot, actually, quite often. But I feel like I'm currently not being an idiot by my plan to go up the canyon. This just feels right. Even though this does suddenly feel very different kind of biome to what we were just going through and I, I don't really know how or why but we'll we'll roll with it i just suddenly feel like i've just been dropped into arrakis or like red dead redemption which is a game series i need to play i played the first one back when i was like a kid yeah i know i shouldn't have been playing it i was a kid get over it um but i really want to play the second one I really want to play the second one. I just don't think that my PC, my my my, my boy, uh, my Glados, I don't think it would cope. But maybe, maybe eventually I'll get around to playing it. We'll see. For now, though, I'm just. Oh. I like the art style. I like. So oh. I have the there? a bit of a confession to make. Right. What is it? Um. I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get I a little pushy, you. you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. I don't know what it wanted me to zoom into. I feel like it was trying to get me to zoom into something in particular that I missed. Wait. Ah. Tell me two forks look out is that way. Ah, oh, I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but <laughs> we weren't really happy with the results. So I'm with you all summer, huh? With whatever this sense of humor is. Can you even believe? You're gonna love it. Honestly, these kind of people do make me happy. These are the kind of people that I get along with. Where I work at the moment, there is quite a lot of like sarcasm, heavy humor. Oh, well that changed quick. Oh, that's a... Uh... Squeeze on through. Yeah, hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I will try not to get hit by lightning. 
I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Jesus. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? You can't just drop that on me, Delilah. Jesus. Especially after playing Outer Wilds. My god. Right. Let's open the supply cache. What was it again? I want to say it's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Anything good? We'll cop. Copy. Cop? We're going to cop the information. Uh, flashlight? I don't think I've got a flashlight. Ah! 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 Ah, indeed. That blinded me, let alone you. My God. Huh. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. <laughs> Thank you. I'll pop it back. Oh, I could, I could yeet it if I want to. Right, I think this is the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. <laughs> but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. I already I have gone where I want. used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Cave okay, closed for access key available at range station. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, the voice acting is incredible. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Oh. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, don't. Oh, sorry, Hank. Ah, don't tell me that the keys are lost and that I won't be able to see inside it because that means I want to see inside it. Hello? Oh. I was kind of hoping I could hear it a little bit more. Hmm. Never mind then. Let's begin. Don't know why I why to start singing that. Jesus. Right, let's climb. <laughs> I can turn my flashlight off now, I think. We have got to be nearly there. Yes, yes we are. Ish. Oh, I do like exploring in games. This is why I like, um, again, another game that I really want to play more of that my PC just would... There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I thought this was going to take an unexpected horror kind of turn. But it didn't, which is good. I'm happy about that. I'm not good with horror. Which is why I'm really scared to go back into the Amnesia games. But I know I need to. I know I need to. You guys would just not forgive me if I didn't. Now, I could go... This way, try find the, the guy, I guess. Let's see if we can find... Hello, person! 
Oh, dude, we've got climbing. I like rock climbing. Come on, Henry. Bit of fresh air, never hurt anybody. I don't think so, anyway. Wind? Does wind count as fresh air hurting someone? Because wind does hurt people all the time. Oh, I thought I saw something there, but it's just a funky shadow. Uh, oh my god. Poor Henry. You can do this, buddy. Nearly there. We are so, so nearly there. I think. I keep telling you this, Henry, but I don't actually know. Yes! We're like halfway back from the cave. Nearly there. There we go. <sighs> Trail closed, sir? Oh, yay. Oh, that would be why. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> I love just the real subtle... He's a very believable sense of humor. I think sometimes games that try to be funny go overboard. Um, don't get me wrong, it works. Like, uh, looking at like the Borderland games, it's really outlandish. But that's kind of the point. This is so believable. Like, I know people that talk like this. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I didn't need to know that, Delilah. But thank you very much. An old baseball. Cool. I mean, it's not the worst that I've ever seen. Why do outhouses always have a little moon? Like a little crescent moon on them? Because I know it's like in Shrek as well, right? There's a little moon on the door. And I don't know why. Do you know why? Someone research it for me. Pop it in the comments. And... You won't get any. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Um. Okay. I actually feel a bit uneasy now. I was joking about the horror vibes. Say if someone's in here, I swear to God. Someone's. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Jesus. Can I close the door? I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Uh, if you're sure. Jesus. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. Or it could have been the I guy. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see... What do you mean if anything else happens? Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Oh, uh, but at least I didn't take my pencils. 
I've got that going for me. Right? <laughs> Think of the positives. I can still doodle. Wake up. I'm up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Right. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Right. Thanks, Hank. So, we are going up there somewhere. Why does she keep calling me Hank? I've only just realized that. Why does she keep calling me Hank? My name is not Hank. My name is Henry. Or is Hen Hank, like, short for... To be fair, Hank is a nickname for Henry. If you've watched... The Fallout TV show, I won't spoil it, but you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Ah, well. Hopefully, I don't come back to find my typewriter on the ground. I don't know why. That was genuinely, like, pretty scary. So I need to go east. East, which, what's my button for my... Uh, east, that way. There was something genuinely quite scary about that then, just seeing that on the floor, like that unknown of, hang on a minute, what the hell just happened there? But, thankfully, there's nothing paranormal going on. It's just people being people, unfortunately. Right, so we just need to go back down the way we came and see if uh, we run into creepy Shadow Man again. Oh, go on, Henry. That's one way to do it. I was expecting to have to, like, slowly clamber down everything. But no. We're so athletic. We can just skirt down the whole thing. Just look at this place. So I... Oh! I'm guessing that's Delilah's tower over there. I was wondering how she could see me from my tower. And I think that's the answer. It was back this way, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. My sense of direction is impeccable, and I would never get lost playing a video game. Ever. To be fair, actually, I know it's only episode two, but I do feel like we're doing quite well with that. I have not got lost. I know where we're going. Bit of ground fog. Nothing nothing too creepy. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh... I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. hey -o. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll hmm. let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hmm. 
Okay, then. That is a bit weird, though. I can see why Henry would be... I can see why Henry would be a bit paranoid about that. But in hindsight, I feel like maybe we should have called it out. I feel like we should have been honest. Or just kept quiet. You know, commit to, commit to being sneaky. I don't like the fact that we can impact people's opinions of us in this game. Because that means that things could... Hmm. Things could be interesting. But at the end of the day, you know, people upset each other. And that's something that, you know, I've kind of learned growing up. It's okay to be annoyed at someone. I get annoyed at my best friends all the time. Not all the time. They're pretty good people, to be fair. But sometimes, you know, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm sure whatever we've done to upset her, which is listening on her, to be fair, I'm sure she'll be okay in the long run. So we just need to keep going north. Oh, communications lines. That's convenient. Let's go follow that. And see where it takes us. This map is quite a bit bigger than I was expecting it to be, though, to be fair. Like, wow. But I just wonder how many times we'll keep going to, like, the same place. Or, like, will it always be somewhere new? Or how much time will we have to kind of go back and forth, back and forth? But this is just... I don't like that. <laughs> We don't like that one bit. Well, this very is just religious wind. Shh. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Cool. Uh... Yeah. Could see it all over there. Also, there's a cache over there. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. <laughs> wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. <sighs> Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be them. Like, why would they just climb up a pole and cut a wire? How could they climb up a pole and cut a wire? Even if I was drunk, I wouldn't touch anything electrical. Because I know how damn dangerous that stuff is. But maybe I'm just being presumptuous and maybe people don't actually know. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Ah, yeah, they've got my, uh, pants. <sighs> hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole machines. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. 
but I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. This is a lesson in why you should just be mature about things. Like, I... I mm. The mature part of me is saying we should not escalate this. However, God damn do I want some revenge. They stole my underwear, guys. I only have so much of that. And I don't know how much washing facilities I've got for this place. I don't know. I don't know. How many pants do I have? Am I wearing pants right now? I appear to be wearing pants. I'm presuming I've got, I've got pants under there. And by pants, I mean underwear for my American friends. Hmm. You'll see. Anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. I'm going to go chill and... and just do things that adults do because being an adult is so much fun but i'm hmm, i'm not sure i don't know if this is going to backfire or not but we're going to go smash a camp and have a good giggle while do it thank you guys so much for the love and the support so far i hope you guys are enjoying the second series um alongside out of wilds if you have any more suggestions of games you want to see after this feel free to let me know in the comments. There's quite a few good suggestions already that I'm kind of juggling with, but we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Anyway, guys, as usual, I have been Sturks. You guys have been incredible, and I'll catch you all later for the next episode.